Grenades are most commonly used weapons in militaries over a long time. Grenades are many types. Some are explosive and some are non-explosive. But when we heard the word grenade, what comes in our mind is this or this. In this video, let's understand how the explosive grenade work with the help of 3D animation. Its name is Time Delay Fragmentation Grenade. The outer shell of the grenade is made up of serrated cast iron. Most of the space inside the grenade is taken by explosive material. Generally, the explosive material is a mixture of TNT and RDX. Through this filling hole, explosive material is inserted. This is called safety pin. Its main function is to hold the striker lever in this position. As long as the striker lever is in this position, blast doesn't occur. If the safety pin is removed, then due to the action of loaded spring in the grenade, striker lever is thrown away and blast occurs. But if we remove the safety pin by holding the striker lever, blast doesn't occur. Now let's see what is inside the grenade and figure out how blast occur. This is a loaded spring and this is called striker. When the safety pin is removed and the grenade is thrown into the air, the spring starts expanding and it pulls the striker down and it rotates the striker holder and thus the striker lever is thrown away. Due to the spring action, the striker hit the percussion cap heavily. Inside the percussion cap, a special shock sensitive material is placed. This is just like a chemical in a real cracker. When pressure or friction is applied, fire is produced. The fire produced in the percussion cap is caught by a special chemical called chemical delay. The fire took 4 to 5 seconds to reach the other end of the chemical delay. This is called detonator. This catches the fire and spread the fire to entire explosive material. Then explosive material is converted into high volume gases. This high volume gas exerts high pressure on shell. This leads to breakdown of the shell. Shell has several grooves and bumps. Since the grooves are thinner than the bumps, it is more likely to occur cracks at the grooves. The shell splits into several small pieces called fragments and these fragments are thrown away with high velocity. These fragments move like a bullet fired from a gun and hit the enemies. Everything is fine. But there is a problem with this grenade. It took almost 5 to 6 seconds to get blast. In the meantime, enemies might escape or grenade is thrown back by enemies. To prevent this, impact grenade is developed. Its name is Bino T13. These are hand thrown grenades. Sadly, due to its less efficiency, these kill military people more than the enemies. Thus, it is redesigned to this and these are thrown by special guns called grenade launchers. These grenades don't have chemical delay. When it hits the target, immediately blast occurs. Let's see how this works. This front part of the grenade is called impact trigger. Striker is attached to this impact trigger. 
This is mounted on springs and it is movable. This is percussion cap. Accidental fall down of this grenade might cause the blast. In order to prevent this, this weighted pin arrangement is made. Now the grenade is in unarmed state. In this unarmed state, even if the grenade hit the ground, blast doesn't occur because the striker doesn't reach the percussion cap. But when the grenade is thrown from a launcher, it creates a spinning effect in the grenade. This spinning motion of the grenade generates a strong centrifugal force that pushes the weighted pins outwards. Due to this spring, detonator is pushed towards the striker. Now when grenade hits the target, the striker hit the percussion cap and fire produced in the percussion cap. Detonator catches the fire and blast occurs. This is how time delay fragmentation grenade and impact grenade work. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please share with your friends. For more future videos, subscribe the channel.